Hey yo, welcome to You Had to Be There podcast, where we discuss everything sports, Pittsburgh, movies, books, games, candy, and all that. And I'm your, your boy, and your mama, <laughs> and your and your mama, and your mama. I'm your boy Bob. Boy, and I'm easy, man. What's going on, man? <laughs> hey, for the new subscribers, yo, thank you. You know what I'm saying for subscribing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Please like, share. You know what I mean. We're uh. You know, the podcast thing is coming together, man. We're yeah. we going to have, you know what I mean, Spotify for, for people that don't want to watch it. We're going to have right, iTunes right. in about a couple weeks. So just stay tuned. What's up, Bub, man? Hey, look. Here, look. Steelers aren't in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm that's mad, cool. I'm mad as fuck. I, it's a bitter, it's a, it was a bitter taste. It was, yeah. a, bitter, it was a bitter taste. And swole. I mean, they, they did had, what they had to do at the end of the year. They... You know, won their games, but yeah. the Jets ain't come through. But uh, but these playoffs, man. I I look look these playoffs. These Hold on, no 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 no, no 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 no. It really ain't though. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna tell you why though. Spit the facts. Chargers keep charging. A battery don't work. No, it, 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 they don't. <laughs> look look. They got a LTD Ground Victoria with a golf cart battery in it. Hey yo, wow. I, 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 all lot. the time. Look, look. Hold on. Philip Rivers. A little engine that could not. Justin Herbert. He seems to be falling in the same vein. I mean, real talented quarterback that can't get over the hump. Uh, uh, okay, receiving core that. Not that beyond okay, man. I, look, you got Keenan Allen. You got, got Mike Williams. Williams. They're, My, they're, Mike Williams they're... wasn't in the game, though. He was hurt. That's the problem. They're always hurt. They've been hurt all year. They've never been on the field at the same time for most of the games. And, and see, that's what I'm saying. Chargers, are, they always charge into the game. Always. <laughs> always do good. Mm-hmm. Get in the playoffs. And then... You know what? Justin Herbert might mess around and be the, the, this, <laughs> this uh, generation Dan Marino. This uh, generation Dan Marino. Mm. Mm. You think so? Man, all that talent and arm strength he got, all that arm talent he has, and, and he, he might make one Super Bowl maybe. Hey, yo, you know what's so crazy? You know what his averaging this season is? What? 310.5. You see what I mean? That's Dan Marino level. Mm, that's true. That was, look, and Dan was doing that in the 80s. Now, now okay, okay, we, we got down, okay, the Chargers, that's they, an they, they keep charging. Yeah, they keep charging. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like. They got a busted battery. Look, yo, yeah. they got a credit limit of 500 and want to swipe for 1,000 all the time. Hey, they on the pay card right now. <laughs> <laughs> they the reason why the rush car went out of business. <laughs> They, it's it's nothing new. Same old Chargers. Same, same old. Things. Same yeah. old. Same old. Talent. No. Uh, no execution. It was despicable how they fucking. Let's yeah. Let, let's let's. It, we, it was, yo, go that past was that. The, that was despicable. Yo, Justin Herbert t- turned into Justin Ryan. Hey, Justin Ryan. And oh, and Justin, oh. you know, I like Justin Herbert. Hey. Uh, he definitely went uh, uh, Atlanta Falcons Super Bowl. Oh my, yo, twenty-seven nothing in the first half. You scored three points in the second half. That's all. And Jacksonville with with, with what's his name? Golden hair dude from Golden Axe. <laughs> you mean Sunshine from uh, from the Remember the Titans? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> Period. Like, yo, he, he shouldn't have been a top pick anyway. So, like, you know how good Doug Peterson is. Yeah. But now he take a team like the Jags, who was like two and forever last year. Shit, he was. They were two and forever this year. They they had a Super Bowl comeback. The only reason why they yeah. went to the playoffs is because they division sucked. Two, they, had two yeah. they had a two and six. They had a two and six and came back at nine and eight. Yeah, and they and they won their they won their division. At nine, at nine and eight, yo, and, and these they got are, in there, they, and, they, and, and I'm they, gonna say, they beat in front of them. That's all we can ask, right? And I'm gonna say this before we even go further: there is three teams that everybody needs to watch out for next season. There's three. Get get to them. Number one's Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. saying number two, Jacksonville Jaguars. All they all they Jackson. need to do is clean up some and the highest score in offense, at, at, like that didn't make the playoffs, which is the Detroit Lions. Yeah, you know I mean, you got lines. you you got you got this you the, you got the, Swift back there. The fighting you, kneecaps. Yeah, yeah you got <laughs> uh, Jamal Will, Williams back there. He's, he's a, a truth. dog. He's a truth. He's he's a, truth. he's a dog. Jared Golf. Uh, Jared Golf ain't that bad neither. Yeah, he's not that bad. I'm on Raw St. Brown. Yeah, yeah he's, yo, he's a number one receiver. He's he's. I mean, he came out of nowhere. No one. And, seen then, him and really. then you got the good pass rusher uh, out of Aiden Hutchinson. Oh yeah. He's a dog. You feel what I'm he's saying? A In a, a couple years, he's gonna be Nick Bosa. You know what I mean? Type of type yeah. of level. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Yo, and and the way Campbell is structuring them, mm -hmm. man, I, I feel bad. They might be a they might be eleven and five next year. That's the fighting kneecaps. It's like who's going with me? Going Michael kneecaps. I'm like, all right, coach. All right, what you coach? That's and name. shout out and shout out to Jamal Williams. Yo, he broke uh Barry Sanders touchdown records, which I'm like. Yeah, yo. Are you doing that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. He all right, broke Barry Sanders. He didn't break his rushing record. This is a single season touch or the uh the single no season, season touchdown yeah, touchdown record. Yeah, 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 that's it. Not, not yeah. franchise, just a single season. Yeah, just a single season. Yeah. So shout out to you, yo. That's a hell of an accomplishment, bro. Hell mm -hmm. of an accomplishment. And I heard that you like anime. <laughs> Later on, we got some anime uh, questions. Okay, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, so, yeah. Right, um, right. so all right, what about uh, Vanilla Vic, the New York football giant. <laughs> Angel Jones, for the first time in his career, threw for 300 yards that game. Yeah. He looked, 300. He, he looked like something. That, beat, beating the Minnesota Vikings, who was a top team in the NFL this year. Vikings ain't play nobody. I mean, they won. They won. Of course, they won uh, NFC North, right? Basically, they ran. They ran to with Green Bay and uh, Detroit. Um, they beat. They beat Philly. I think they beat Philly. Yeah, in a close one. In a close one. So what is that? It's, in a close one, and Jalen and Jalen Hurts wasn't playing that game. Oh yeah, I don't think he was playing that game. Okay, Gardner Minshew was playing. The only team that they beat at the wire that actually meant something was the Buffalo Bills. That's one big win. So, Other than that. Who did you beat? You beat the teams on the schedule more than, more than you didn't. You hold on, they hold on, they hold on. Went, Who's went, all in their division? They went thirteen to four. Who's all in their division? Of course, the Bears, Packers, and uh, and the Lions. Take you, take six games off of that. Okay, they they still went thirteen to four. Hold on, six games off of that. Six games off of that. They went thirteen and four. They and then lost you four had games. hold on, hold on, hold on. You hold can't hold. say a team that lost four games like they, they can hold only on, play the Beatles on schedule. Time out, time out. Just three, hold on, just three, just three years ago, yeah. the Steelers went 12 and 0. And I said the same thing. You only beat who's in front of you. At that time, they beat the Bills. They beat Tennessee when they got at the top of their game. They beat, they beat the Bills. They beat the Browns, who at that time had the, the time they beat them, had the top Russian, uh, Russian um, offense. And they was like top of the AFC North. And then they beat the Ravens, who then at that time had a top Russian offense. Then they beat Tennessee Titans, who had the top Russian offense at when they every time they beat somebody they beat at the top, they, they beat three playoff teams that year. Because it all was fluff. They beat three playoff teams that year. No. So you could only beat who's on your schedule. Well, what I'm saying is nobody's saying nothing about our defense. Our offense was terrible. Man, you went as a team. Like Kirk Cousins. Perk Cousins was. He's playing like he's going to perk 30 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Melting him down on a spoon. Like, ugh. If it wasn't for uh, uh, Justin Jefferson, Jay Jettas, hey, he would be. But, but, he'd but be Mitch Trubisky. Right. But, but, but you know what's so crazy? The Giants exposed that. 
They sure did. They put the pressure on him. They took away all the all the throws from uh, Justin Jefferson. And honestly, during the season, other teams did too. He just didn't care. He just threw the ball anyway. And for real, for real, I don't see Daniel Jones being a little better than Perk Cousins. He's, he's probably worse. That's what I'm saying. No, oh, Perk, he got the bag. The, the Skins gave him the bag, and then the Vikings, Vikings gave him the bag. bag. Yep. Daniel Jones, Vanilla Vic, ain't getting no bag. Go the way of the backup. He's about to go to the Colts, probably. And back up Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the Colts are getting these old quarterbacks. But they about to get... <laughs> hey, yo, they, they learn from Elden Ring. Everybody's tarnished. <laughs> Dang. Everybody's Dang. tarnished. Hey, hey, Everybody's tarnished. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they introduce them like, oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Ryan this year, he looked like ashes in a jersey. Like, it's crazy. Like, Dang. He looked like ashes in a jersey. Like, it's like he nigga, like, fresh out of a coffin. He had up. it. He had it. It was a rut for him. Yo, Eagles is so high powered, bro. Like they might be, they might be OP for real. Maybe they might be OP for real. Like, uh, like very overpowered. You know what I'm saying? So they might, they they might be. Um, I mean, the first game with the Bengals we got handled. We no, should, no, the first game against the, the Bengals we won. We won. That oh, game. oh yeah, oh yeah. We won that. Oh, game. it was the first game of the season. Yeah, because right? yeah, we went OT with them. The second, yeah, yeah, that was that was still. Yeah, yeah. we went OT the with second, them. Yeah, the second one was, was not too. But the first game, the Browns got handled. We should have beat the Jets. Minnesota beat the Jets. Yeah. We should have beat the Dolphins. Minnesota yeah. beat the Dolphins. Yeah. yeah. So the, we we have shared opponents. We look, we only shared two. Like 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 they they no they uh we lost to the the Buffalo Bills about what thirty whatever of the three so. If you take the same team, we have common opponents. The team they beat, we didn't beat. You should have beat the shit out the Giants. But for some reason, teams this year couldn't. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, they start. Well, Saquon Barkley can't there you go. like he, his... He's second year being healthy. Yeah, and he's running like top three uh, running backs right now, for sure. I will give a shout out to Penn State, but I don't like Penn State. I don't care. Me neither. No. Shout out to Pat Fire move though. Uh hey, yeah, hey, hey, move get some. Move get some love. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. um, yeah, so that was a tragic loss. Like, you know what I'm saying? Vikings, you got exposed for who you was. Sorry. Yep. Yep. Uh now we're on to today, which you know is gonna come out in a couple days. So today we seen, and this was an upset. I don't care what nobody say. To me, it's an upset. We see the Bengals upset Buffalo in Buffalo. And which Josh Allen is undefeated in playoffs at home. At home. I, and I, I would say it's an upset as well. I agree. That's an upset. Uh, but Joe Burrow, a.k.a. Joe Thorough, this dude out here, he's he's – he was putting up down a few hundred yards in the snow, man. In the snow. Yeah. In the snow, you're supposed to run the ball in the snow. This dude throwing the ball in the snow. And T. Higgins doing his doing the god darn thing, man. Um Jamal Chase. Chase Hurst. Yeah. Uh, uh Mixon. Uh, Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd. Um, what's the what's the what's the uh uh the backup running back? Uh um, P Ron. P Ron Samaj P Ron. Yeah. James backwards. <laughs> That always reminds me of lottery tickets. Hey, that's what I was saying. Yeah, Shamaj. Hey, James Backwards. He yeah. said, he said, nigga, your name ain't Shamaj. Your name James yeah. Backwards. <laughs> What's wrong with you? The nerve to put the abbreviation over the J. I know. Don't know where it go, really. You know what I'm saying? They just over there putting apostrophes in random yeah. places. We don't know how the San Fran thing is going to go, but we can make a, a quick prediction. San Fran winning. I think San Fran's going to win. I think for real, for real, if you want to be technical, <clears throat> San Fran going to do it all the way. I look, I picked them early. I'm not strapping the pick. San Fran Super Bowl. I they think get they, they are. get they getting that dub. I think, um, I think they are. With Brock Purdy. Purdy. Ayo, hey, Mr. Irrelevant. Oh, yeah. No, it's Mr. Relevant. Mr. Relevant. It's I, Mr. Relevant. Okay. Yeah, man, this dude. No, hold on. All right, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Wait a minute. This dude. Had the best rookie season, of, I could say, of any quarterback in history. 
and he like, yeah, like and, and that's not a reach. The only rookie quarterback that's won a playoff game. He might have a Nick Foles run. Man, he's throwing for three hundred yard games. He can't look. He's the third third string quarterback. Playing. And he don't have a loss. He does not no have L's. a loss. No L's in the regular season or the playoffs right now. Brock Purdy, who's now playing as their best quarterback right now. Jimmy Garoppolo, who was their most winning quarterback in recent years, mm-hmm. who's going, who's probably going to free agency. Yeah, he's definitely going to. Free and they agency. have their what number two overall pick as or three, and um, Trey Lance. Mm. So Trey Lance is still on the rookie contract. They're not trading him unless they someone blow their socks off. And I don't see nobody blowing their socks off over somebody unproven. I know, I know who's starting for San Francisco next year. Purdy. No. <laughs> No, nah, seventh round, bro. Remember, it's seven rounds in the draft. Oh yeah, he's in the seventh round. The last one. Damn, I thought he was six rounder. There's two, there, look, there's two punks that I don't like that came out in the sixth round: Antonio Brown and Tom Brady. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, facts. Do that dance, A.B. Do that dance. <laughs> you look like Earthworm Jim baptized in oil. <laughs> You're you're just a weirdo, like, like a you, young, you're like a young dark skin gargamel. <laughs> mm. Then he got that. Then he got that little thing that be I don't know, like a little finger. Like, what do you be doing with that finger diamond, bro? Hey, whatever it is, help him catch some balls. I don't know what like from Cordell. Um, <laughs> I mean, he did throw a bag of dicks at his baby mom. Yeah, that's that's the most trifling thing. He threw a bag of and dicks. recorded it. Like, a bag of dicks. Like she was in the wrong. Getting naked overseas in a pool. Yo. He was on three teams in two weeks. In two weeks. <laughs> Remember, hey, yo, your boy burnt. He, look, he, I, he burned his feet. Like, <laughs> yo, you burned your feet, bro. And then blame it on the Raiders. Hold on. And then you and Le'Veon Bell was going to get the highest paid contract for a wide receiver and a running back by the Roonies and decided to go somewhere else because you didn't have creative control. <laughs> Bitch, nobody has creative control but the fucking quarterback. Okay? R- recognize that. Not three niggas can steer a boat. What, is, what does it look like three niggas steering a boat? Man, look. You feel what I'm saying? They overpriced a talent. And look where it got him. And people kept trying to give A B a chance. People kept trying to give L Bell a chance. They yo, y'all could have stayed on where y'all is at. And made the Hall of Fame. Come on, man. Went to the Hall of Fame. At, at the least, the Hall of Fame. Y'all could have went to the Hall of Fame. And yo, that, look, think about that. More than most. Yeah. At the least, Hall of Fame. Consi- at Hall least of consider fame. consideration. Look, look. Hall look. of Fame for sure for A.B. Consideration for L. Bell. And, and for real, for real, if there wasn't no drama in the locker room, y'all could have, because for real, for real, y'all had the most explosive offense for two years. More than two years, man. That, no, that's I would say. Uh, about, I, I, about three, four, man. Uh, uh, all right. So let's, so, so let's take it three, four. You think the Roonies wasn't going to, gonna, you know what I'm saying, go out and get that defense that they got now? Of course. They would have invested in that. They would have had that defense. That ain't a Super Bowl team. That's a Super Bowl team. Period. Flat out, man. Uh Killer Bees. With that defense now. Come on, man. That's all you need. They would have had it, man. Look. And, and that cockroach and that fucking and that ghostbuster <laughs> wanna fuck shit up all the time. I don't know why. You put, like, the, you put the A in cockroach. <laughs> That's my <laughs> Yeah, it aggravates me because A B could be potentially. And and the stats say it all. The questions about receivers. That's going to be a couple of my questions. But I just want to t- touch on it because I don't think we really touched on the Eagles real quick. But the Eagles came out, they did their job. They dominated yesterday. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the e- e- Eagles, I mean, man, they, they put that game away quickly as they should. They know it's a division rival, they know the Giants. They made Daniel Jones look like Daniel Jones and not Vanilla Vic. Facts. So they they did that. I'll, hey, look, these Niners are gonna see y'all Eagles 
and it's going to be a wrap like Christmas. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, shout out to PA because of course we're from PA. Yeah, Miles but, Sanders, man, good job, man. But I you mean, but but uh, I'm sorry, San Francisco is my second favorite team. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I loved them since uh, right since uh, since Joe Montana and Jerry Rice, man. Even Roger when, Craig, Ronnie Lott, Charles yeah. Haley. Even, even though you Steve, defected and went to the Cowboys, Charles Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Even and, though Prime, you defected with the Cowboys, Prime. Shit, they had two of the greatest quarterbacks, I think, of all times with, within uh, Joe Montana and Steve Young. Steve they, Young was man, a, Hall of Fame. They both Hall of Fame. And he came right after Joe Montana. He was he was in the wings. Like that's when they used to develop quarterbacks. Right. That's when you you would draft the quarterback first round or not. They wait in two or three years before they start. Fact. Now it's like you draft, you gotta start them. And that's why I think the NFL ruins quarterbacks more than they develop them. Who's the top five receivers? All right, so bet. Now, that, that's my question. Okay. Right. I know this already. All right. All right, so who, who is it? So, so look, so look, I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Hold go. on. Eh. Andre Rising. What the oh. fuck? Is your <laughs> <you see>, <laughs> what the hell is your fucking Spider -Man. problem? Let's go, man. Come what on. What type of crack cocaine are you on? Snowfall. No. <laughs> we got up from Compton. He was in Compton, <laughs> copping them joints, yo. Hey, yo, like, he looked like the the nigga on the front of Moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's an interview out of this man saying that he was better than Jerry. I don't even think I can say it. It's so disrespectful. Hey, yeah, I'm totally different than Jerry Rice. You're right, but I was better than Jerry Rice. Cause you like the way I spell goat is R I C E. Okay. Yeah. So um <laughs> and you say that you was better than Jerry. Hey yo, Jerry we could, Rice. We could run down about 15, 20 people before we get to you and when it comes to the great receivers. I can name 10 to 15 wide receivers right now that's better than you. Right now. Right now. Right, yo, I mean, Andre Rice, you better than me because I, I never played in the NFL, okay? You better than me, all right? Yeah, and you better than me because your girl, you know, she burned your house down and she ain't go to jail. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> you, you were shot. You shot when you was at, man. You, when you was, and when you played for the Falcons, you played for the, well, you played for the Browns. Yep. Like, you were yep. shot and you was that dude, but you were not better than Jerry, Chris Carter, Michael Irvin, or James Lofton, Andre Reed, Art Monk. I need I go on. Yeah. You're not better than Julio Jones. You're not better than Stefan Diggs. You're not better than A.B. You're not better than Justin Jefferson. You're not better than Cooper Cup. You're not be Dog. You're not better than Tyreek Hill. Uh, or A.B. Or A. I said A.B. Okay, A.B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Larry Fitzgerald. You're not better than Larry Fitzgerald. T.O. You're not better than T.O. Chad Johnson. You're not better than uh, Steve Largent. Steve Largent. <laughs> You're not better than Michael Irvin. You're not better than, you know what I'm saying, my big toe. You're not better than anybody. That, yo, bro, you're 50 on the list. At least. I Steve understand. Smith Sr. And Junior, Junior when he start playing. <laughs> on, on life, yo, on life. Now, you're better than Deontay Johnson. I give you that. And, and Chase Claypool. I would take you over Chase, Chase Claypool. Hey, look. look. You were you were barely better than Yancey Thigpen. Oh, that's a good comparison. Mm -hmm. Of uh, Mooney on Chicago Bears. Oh, he's Mooney. I, I I would I would compare him. Mooney's to, not bad, right? Mooney's he's not, not bad, bad, but he's not he explosive. He's not crazy. And you know what though? We, we never like we don't know who's throwing the Mooney. Like, we got Justin Fields. You know, who had no offensive line runs for his life. He's not the best passer yet. Nintendo 64 squish face ass. <laughs> his face is like a cartridge, yo. You ever see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> we know that Jerry Rice is the best receiver of all time, right? Yeah. So, now he's numbers, right? Numbers. Other than Jerry Rice, he's top because he owns most He owns most, most of the uh, all-time stats. Yes, hell yeah. Who's the number two leader in receiving yards? Because I can't say Randy Moss. I can't. 
Because I think he played he th- I think he played 15, 16 years. He about, yeah, yeah, you're right. About yeah, 15, so and th- and this person probably played about twenty. Maybe. And T.O. played about 15, 16 years. It would have to be between three people. Mm-hmm. I would say I would say Chad Johnson. I would say T.O. or or Brandon Marshall. Nope. Who? Larry Fitzgerald. Oh well, yeah, yeah, that's believable. So when you say twenty years, I'm thinking like, because Larry, he almost yeah, know, he like, nineteen. Like, yeah, he was yeah, nineteen. Yeah, he was nineteen. So it goes like this: Jerry, Larry, Tio, Randy, Randy Moss, Isaac Bruce. Oh yeah, Isaac Bruce was crazy. You're not better than Isaac Bruce. Nope. Or, Andre Razzle or Tory Holt or Marvin Harrison or Reggie Wayne. Hey, yo, on the Colts team, you would have been third. You'd have been fighting for third, dog. Yo, you would be Juju Smith-Schuster right now. There you go. Juju solid. But he ain't, but he ain't, you know. You ain't number one. You are not number one. I don't even think he's number two at Kansas City. I don't even think so. He, it's a struggle. It'll be a fight. But period. Look, listen. When Tyreek Hill was there, coach was number one. No, <laughs> Fact. Right, so and then and then everybody had the nerve to say that Tyreek Hill made made a, a super crazy impact, like he was the whole Kansas City well, offense. I, I, but he I did. Feel, but he did. But you see how far uh, they they didn't miss a step. Yeah, um, they didn't miss a step. This is Patty Mahomes right here. It's Trick Mahomes. It's my man. Trick. Yeah, it's Patty, Patty, bro. I know him personally. I call him Trick. You know <laughs> we, we knew him back in the day. It was right. something you know we did the club. Trick. He sold me some Sour Patch Kids that was faulty. <laughs> it was fucked up. It had me running to the bathroom and shit. Trick Mahomes sold him pre lick lemon head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Pat Mahomes like best best QB in the league right now. Like mm. without without a doubt, without a doubt, even better than Bro and Herbert and, yes. and Allen. Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes. There's... Hey yo, and think about think about the name we just said: Mahomes, Burrow, Herbert, Allen, all in the AFC. <laughs> like if you don't got a quarterback, or you don't got a dominant, stifling defense, you ain't gonna have a chance in the AFC. Hold on, hold on, but look. <laughs> Look, and this is why I said Kenny's going to come back with a vengeance because of this right here. Now, whether Lamar Jackson plays in the yeah. AFC North mm-hmm. next year, he's still right now presently in the AFC North. Yeah, yeah. We have the best, almost, I would say either the best or the top two uh, quarterback cores in, the a- in, in all of football. Because you got to figure, you got Lamar Jackson. He's yeah. so explosive. Yeah, nigga's explosive. Joe Burrow can throw four hundred on a whim. Joe Burrow is very accurate. He could make great decisions. We see what De- Deshaun Watson can do down in Houston. With a full off season, I think he'll be back to where he was, or if not, pretty darn close. Look, look, look. You you give him you yeah. give him D Hop a, a negative one, which is Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, yeah. And with, at, with a dominant run game, then us we got Kenny Pickett, who's who's on a climb. I think I think will be more of a. But the only difference between uh, all them teams is we have a better defense than all of them. Think we have a better defense than the Ravens? Yes, very much so. I mean, very much so. The only difference they got, the, they're, they're yo man with they look. Roquan Smith and Patrick McQueen. That's the only thing Patrick they got McQueen. over us is linebacker core. Corners. That's it. Corners. That's it. No. Marlon, yo, Marlon Humphrey's a better corner than both of, both of ours. One. What's Marcus the Peters. Other? Marcus Peters washed up, bro. He's better. Yo, he's better than us. He's, he's better than Levi Wallace and the, whoever the X play the other side. I don't think he's better than Levi right now. He is. Not right now. He got more receptions, more tackles, <sighs> more uh, more broken up passes, and all that stuff right now. I don't know about that, man. Mark, I'm serious. Look like, at the stats. Put it this way. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the okay, stats put up way. right Mar- now. Mar- Marlon Humphrey is their number one, right? Mm-hmm. Is Marlon Humphrey better than um, um, Levi Wallace? No, but let, let's get it straight. Marlon Humphreys is better than all the all the corners that we had. Right. But what I'm saying now, is you now, have to have two of those. So, so wait, wait. So our so our second, their second corner is Marcus Peters. 
Mm -hmm. Our second corner is in the, the, James Pierre and uh, and a killer Willerspoon. They're better than Marcus Peters right now. No, no, but Cam Sutton is. Cam Sutton's a third one, and he's not. He's not better. Than, he's, he's better than Marcus. He's Peters. not, and he can't. He can, this he, year, he, hold on, hold on. This, this year, year, this he year, is, he is. this year, he's not. Oh, Man, Cam no, Sutton, hey, yo, I bang with you. I bang with you, but you are not an outside corner. Anybody like yo, like I get and, what and, you're and, saying. In the slot, in the slot though, in the slot though, there's not too many corners in the league that can outplay him in the slot. The slot is where he, the nickel corner, that's him. That's Cam right. Sutton. Right. Jump routes. He got good hand. He got good ball skills. Yeah. He he makes he makes good tackles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's even decent on the blitz. Not as good as Mike Hilton on the blitz, like but, he's said, good, he's, but he's good in the blitz. Yep. But he's not. Mar Marcus Peters is better. When Marcus Peters was at the Rams, he was a dog. He was an unbelievable, yeah. a unbelievable dog. But right now, his residual is better than Cam Sutton. Yeah. I, oh, I get that. No, yeah. that, that's. As I'm saying, like, the, but I'm talking about gameplay right now. That's what I'm talking about. If you hold on, hold on. If you if you put stats up and you put broken tackles and interceptions, Cam Sutton got more. Put it this way, who's like everybody don't always throw throw to him because they cover. It's like Deion Sanders, right? There's, there's, there's uh, like games. Deion Sanders might get two balls thrown his way because of coverage. The, uh, you know what put a put a lock on his game? What? Him not being number one anymore. Because anywhere that he was, he was the number one corner. He was. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you have Marlon Humphreys, I rather that, have. I don't see. Yo, right now, today, next season. If, if you said, "Hey, Cam Sutton, Marcus Peters, I'm taking Marcus," you know who you know who I'm that would Peters. hold on. Do you know who would that would be comparison to? That their production came down when this person came. Who? Odell Beckham yeah. and uh, Jarvis Landry. Yeah, Jarvis Landry is a hell of a receiver. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? As soon as Odell Beckham came, shoot, same thing with Cooper Cup when Odell came last year in the Super Bowl. In the Super Bowl, right before Odell got hurt, he yeah, was, he, he he was going to be MVP of the Super Bowl oh, before yeah. Homeboy hit hurt his knee. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was, and he had a he yeah, had a hell of a catch in the end zone. He already had like sixty four yards before he even got injured. Yeah, Jarvis Landry went down the Saints. He didn't do so good. No, but but Cooper Cup <clears throat> lost. Uh, Odell Beckham, and he he was MVP out of he was offensive MVP. I mean, well, he he was that before Odell came. Right? So, I, so this year, so remember, this year is without him, and they and they picked up Allen Robinson. Yeah, and no one did good. Yeah, yeah. Rams is I don't know. They 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 pissed the, they pissed the bed, and like I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, Steelers. I think what the Steelers need to do. One thing, I was going to say go for AD or Jalen or Jalen Ramsey, but forget all that. We need to go get that dude from the Titans. Lewan, 77 for the Titans. Oh, uh, uh, Lewan. Lewan, a LA yo. Yeah. A Listen and up. Put, and put him at the tackle spot. Listen up. Get, get damn more out. Yeah, get out of here. I'm cool with that. I'm I'm, I'm cool putting damn, damn more on the um, – and, and the Titans. As a backup. I and the Titans only owe him nine mil next year. Yeah, so I, I would – I don't mind. I wouldn't mind putting damn more as a backup to him. I wouldn't mind that because I mean he's better. I mean let's upgrade everything. Yeah. Um. Shoot. Let's 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 get Luan. I'm cool with that. I would love for the Steelers to go after Tremaine Edmonds at, mm, at middle back. I backer. don't think we can get him though. Why not? I don't think he's we can unrestricted. Get him. Man, it's going to be a bidding war. Somebody going to overpay. Why not be us? Else is left at middle linebacker because Bush is the freak gone. Yeah. He's don't gone. nobody want him and he don't want to be here. He's That's out. Good. They're not renewing anything. Right. So I think we still got Miles Jack on the hook for one more year. I think. Yeah, yeah. So hey, we're gonna keep Miles Jack. Miles Jack might play better with someone like Edmonds there, and get and you get the other Edmonds. If we don't resign him, we lose more leverage of getting his brother. <laughs> <laughs> and look, if we gotta get Trey Edmonds back as running back, so bad. Steelers, he's gonna be, Steelers. He gonna be cheap. Steelers, do me one He'll favor. Be cheap. Do, do me one favor, just one. Just one, just for one year. You know what I'm about to say, right? Go ahead, dog. <laughs> Get JJ just for one year. <laughs>
just one. I understand he's old. I get it. But I, I want to see that. The question is, where are you going to put him? He's an edge rusher. Where are you going to put J.J. Watt? Hey, Hasmith, you might have to sit down. For that. <laughs> you might have to sit down. And, and he was a dog this year, yo. He was one of the top three edge rushers double, this year. Double digit sacks. You got several tackles for losses. Great on a run against the run. He like probably he was a he was out of front seven this year. He was her best. In, in my opinion, I think he was the best. He played the yeah. best. Receiver question for you. Okay. Receiving yards. What act in the top in, in top twenty? What active receiver? There's only one uh -huh. that, that is that's in the top twenty. In, right receive, now? in receiving yards. Uh, there's only one of them. Let me see. Uh Tyreek Hill? Nope. Who? Julio. Oh well, yeah. Okay, I, I be forgetting he's active. His bum ass is on a Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, game. I mean, like, because I'm think I thought you were gonna go Amari Cooper for real, for real. I, I, thought, I, was, I, thinking I, I, I was thinking that. I was thinking that. Cooper. I was thinking that. But, but yeah. also, I was thinking about D Hop. But D Hop only been in the league for five or six. Yeah, years. he has not been. You long. feel what I'm he saying? So uh -huh. his long his longevity and plus he was out for for like a half a season mm -hmm. because he was like fined or some shit or or he was hurt one of the two yeah, something like that. You know. And look, he had Matt Ryan. When Matt Ryan was at his peak, like yo, hey yo, when Matt Ryan was dope, he was dope. I'm trying you to know, tell you, you know who that was. You know who that connection was. That was prime uh, Matthew Stafford and uh, Megatron. That that is okay. That okay. At, yo, that's a very great comparison. Yo. I might even think Julio Jones is better than a little bit better than Megatron overall. Yeah, overall yeah. route running, yep, hands and all that. Megatron was just a god darn six, seven six, monster. He, he was just a freak. Yeah, for the for the season wrap up though, like I said, fuck everybody but the Steelers. <laughs> um, yeah, you know I mean, nah, but shout out to San Francisco because I really want you to win it. Let's go, let's get you it. Know what I mean, like I really want you faithful, to win baby. It. For those who don't know, we are big anime fans. Yep. Very big anime fans. So, and this might piss some of y'all off. <laughs> but we don't care. We don't care. Not really. I, I just don't care. It rocked the tube sides. <laughs> so, top five animes right now. Oh, top, and, and, uh, right uh, now? Oh, no, no. All time. Oh, okay. So, all time. All times. All time. I'm going to go with the Dragon Ball franchise. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to specify if it's Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT. I'm just going to say the whole God darn franchise. Okay. Um, One Piece. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of One Piece. It's been popular for years. Another one, popularity. I mean, you can't leave out Naruto. Mm. And the Naruto franchise, even though they're doing Boruto, that, that franchise... Look, the only thing about Naruto I don't like is these niggas got 1,265 filler episodes. It, yeah, so it's One Piece. They, they do Man, not that. like Naruto, bro. Naruto, you just be sitting there like, next episode, and then they be in the woods. Next episode, they be mm -hmm. up in a tree. Next episode, they be training on a leaf. Next episode, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He gets his little... His little he thing. Got the joint. Next the 50 episodes is talking about how Naruto's gonna be Hokage. Oh, we're facing a nigga that throws sands in everybody's face. I have to chase him for another 100 episodes till the real fight commences at episode 3042. Yeah. yeah. 76 B F5. <laughs> the Gundam Wing, the Gundam franchise. Hey, yo, that's dope, yo. The, 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 the Gundam, Gundam friend, yeah, the Gundam that's friend. dope. Yeah. They got all, look, there's all types of different Gundams, but that the popularity says it all. Right. If you know anything about anime, if something loses popularity, they stop. They won't stop mid-season. They won't finish it. So the fifth one, man, I'm, I, was, I'm, I was trying to go back, but I'm going to go old school on cats, man. Akira. You know what I think about Akira? What? Well, nigga. You nasty. <laughs> that was a wet one, too, man. That was a, but this this dude just fought the secrets of the ooze for Ninja Turtle. <laughs> oh, I got a little turtle head. <laughs> uh, my number five, I I love it. 
You know what I'm saying? I definitely love it. One Punch Man. Wait, hold up. We said all time. One Punch Man. This but they got we got two yeah. seasons all time, and he not, he splits nigga shit every time. I, I, okay, he splits you, nigga shit you every time. Right now, out of like okay, Man. shit, them two seasons was good as hell. He just split nigga. It was a gag, you know what I'm saying? But it still split. They didn't mean for it to be so popular. I don't think because <laughs> because it, it was supposed to be like a, 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 a spoof yeah, it's a on, on the superhero. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I just did push ups, sit ups, and I ran. And I got strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yeah. Four, I would have to go One Piece. I like One Piece. Okay. Three, I would have to go Yu Gi Oh. Oh, okay. Bet. Number two, I don't know. The Pokemon ain't an anime. It's, it's, and it, it's, 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 it's categorized in, in there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Pokemon like, was hard, but it's since, since Naruto is more of an anime. I'm gonna have to say Naruto because Pokemon would be more of a. Damn, I guess it would be an anime, wouldn't it? That's the anime. Okay, so I'm gonna have to throw Pokemon in there. And number one goat of all goats of all times, Dragon Ball. Who will win in a fight? Between who, who, and who, and who? Go- Goku and Naruto. Okay, that's cheating. Yeah. Okay, this is what it is. Like, Goku... That, you know, this has been a question in, in the... But it's unfair, okay? How? Because Goku's like Superman. This is what I mean by that. They both suck. They have no character development whatsoever. <laughs> These mugs just strong for what I... They, they are the reverse of Satama. They just strong regardless. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's no... Naruto got the best character development of all time. I don't give a crap. Say what you want to say. Tell your mama. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, look, I don't look. know. Vegeta might have it. He don't. I think Vegeta got it. Man, Vegeta is an arrogant prince who's still arrogant. And he, now he get out the mud. Now he got out that, the mud. That's my point. That's but, my point right but, there. But, but look, but look, he grew up privileged. No, Man, he didn't. This dude was a prince. Yo, and do you know what his dad was making him do? Look, his dad made him go from planet to planet scraping niggas, <laughs> taking over planets. No, no, not what dad made him do. What? <laughs> Nothing. He <got> a- <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> For real. For real. For real. Hey, look. Now, look, the third Hokage put him in, a, in, a, in an apartment and said, Liv, <laughs> like the parents of the village was like, don't hang with him. He gigs the devil spirit kid, whatever. This dude was causing mischief, throwing rocks. He sucked at the academy. <laughs> <laughs> he went, hey, yo, beginning exam, and this dude, he left the page blank because he ain't know what to put. <laughs> say, how do you say yeah. Goku's backstory is way better put together than everybody else? You know what Goku's backstory is? It's trash. What is it? Uh, he got put in a little hover pod mm-hmm. and got sent to Earth because mm-hmm. Frieza was going to blow up Bardock and all them niggas. Mm-hmm. That, uh, guess how Goku became stupid? How he got Goku become stupid? Yo, he literally threw him down a fucking hole and he bumped his fucking head and forgot how to be a Saiyan. He still was stupid. Yeah. That's not a good backstory. It's, it's not. But yo, he's still he's strong without and then trying. Radix pop up like, yeah, he, bitch ass nigga, I'm your brother. Yo, he was like, str- he was strong without trying. Nah, he had to try. He, he, look, I'm he, gonna tell you why. When, when when Dragon Ball Z first first came out, guess who he was losing to? Well, he fought the cell side. He was, he, no, no, no. Like, before was, that, Krillin was giving them work. Krillin thank was, you. Was giving that thank work. you. Yeah, Krillin was Krillin beating that his work. ass. And Matt Roshi was giving that work, and then and uh, Yamcha was giving him work. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? You're now? You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yamcha was giving you some work. Something wrong, boy. Was, <laughs> yo, bro. Yamcha was the hardest Z fighter back then. He really was, man. Yamcha. And now he's tiger, like, like the Tiger was, Ball Clan. He was straight. Like, he was straight. He gave, <laughs> now he's trash. Like you, like dude, you, 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 like a booger. No, nah, no, nah, he was the hardest. And then all of a sudden, Vegeta came around, fucked Boma, and took him off of Yamcha in front of him. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that was some, that was some real. He, yeah. Yo, that's some hood shit. That's some grizzly. Hey, yo, run right, right your girl in, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and do something about it. <laughs> that's Vegeta. I, oh, Vegeta. Craziest part is Yamcha is so trash now. He wasn't even invited to the tournament of power. Wait, didn't like somebody go get him or something like that? They was like, nah, we can't have him, man. No, nah, he was in a cut like, man, they gonna come and get me. They gonna come and get me. Nobody came and got him. Nah. You know who they got him over? TN. No, Krillin. No, Krillin got strong though, man. The only thing Krillin knows how to do is that solar flare with his eyes. That's the <laughs> only reason why he came. The, the destructo disc. And hey, you remember what? Uh, <laughs> yo, that, that goes hard. Hey, <laughs> And remember the um, <laughs> that is true, yo. Yo, and he got the ball hit. That that solar flare light up. That that, that that's, that's an enhancement. <laughs> that body, you know what I'm saying? Like when he got a little bit stronger, when go home again, he was getting stronger. He got that little boost from uh uh um little Namekian dude. So like he got he got the boost. Yeah, Kami. Yeah, he was getting he was getting stronger and stronger. So like yo, he he he, he gave he gave Gohan the one on one. He gave Goku the one on one. Shit, he, for real, for real, Piccolo taught Gohan everything you know. For real, for real. Hold on, hold on. King Piccolo was he, that. He hold was, on, hold was, on. Time out, time out, time out. We we can't bypass this. King Piccolo was dope. We can't bypass this. Hey yo, uh, Goku was a deadbeat father. Oh, he was he was trash. He didn't develop nothing. You know who Gohan's dad is. Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> what what to you was the best Dragon Ball saga? The fight in Piccolo when he yeah. was when he was evil. Mm -hmm. But for real, for real, I'm I'm putting Dragon the original Dragon Ball to the side. I'm going with the stuff with Dragon Ball Z. Mm. So because and like not 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 but, all, but of, not all of it. Saga, yeah, though? yeah, that's that's what we're getting to. Frieza and the Boo saga. I know I know people are like, what about the cell saga? I, I look that was the coming of age of Gohan, but after that, Gohan disappeared. <laughs> Thinking that he was going to be this next level hybrid human saying ultra instinct and ultra ego. You see, ultra ego is is, is the uh is the power that um Bear has got that yeah, in, in that yeah, Vegeta, the Vegeta got the yeah. destruction and ultra instinct is, is that angel. angel joint yep. that that go. So with them two mastering that, I don't know. Didn't see enough from from the, from that Gohan, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and, and that's the problem. They, like Gohan is a like an underdeveloped character that everyone wanted to see more of, but everyone right. kept focusing on Goku Doing and Vegeta. Vegeta. Yep, yep. We wanted to see more. He became the great Saiyan man and, and doing some punk crap. He got all skinny, Stupid, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And just gonna teach you him to learn. Okay, before we get out of here. Before we get out of here, name your best uh, drag, Dragon Ball antagonist. Like I, a nigga, you was like, damn, I don't know, Goku. I don't know. I got him. I got him. No, it's Vegeta. For real? Yep. Yep. You would think Vegeta's more of a threat than Frieza. Um, you say antagonist. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now, now threat. <clears throat> It's always Frieza. Frieza always the, always the biggest threat. Now, who's the best? Who is the best villain against Goku? Basically, I say Vegeta, because mm. it's like Vegeta's arrogance, you know what I'm saying, versus like uh, 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 Goku's innocence. Mm. That dude, he he's petty and he don't care. I like petty. He's like Ryan Clark, right? Yeah. He right. will put himself to sleep to put you to, to sleep. put you down. Right. Facts. He was cold hearted. He ain't give a crap. Hey, you're a peasant. To this day, he still called Goku the peasant. Like you beneath me, Kakarot. Right. I'm right. the prince. I'm the prince. But that's right. a that's a that's even a misnomer in itself because his daddy dead. He the king. <laughs> <laughs> right. But the king of what? He's the king of the Saiyans. There's only three of them. Bro, <laughs> him, bro, and Goku. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he the king of three, three. niggas. <laughs> he the king of. So why not, why be the prince when you the when you the last rule line? No, he no, he's the king of six niggas. I mean, if you, you come to have the half breeds, they're still saying they saying. My favorite an antagonist is not from back in the day. Uh, who you got? Everybody gonna think I'm I'm gonna say Broly. 
I thought you said about to say Jaren. I am. All right. I am. Mm -hmm. Do you know how yeah. tough? Yo, when I seen that, I said, look, he threw a Kamehameha at him, and dudes sat there like this. What he was so strong, he had an energy field yeah. that you cannot see. He's just like, wow. Look, you know how tough you got it. First of all, he went through all his phases. He did. He he went from base form. He was hitting them, bong, 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 bong. Went to Super Saiyan like that ain't doing nothing. Boom, boom, boom. That ain't doing nothing. Super Saiyan too. He moved his head a little bit. Like, what is this doing, bro? And then all of a sudden he went to God. <laughs> And he started blocking him with, with one finger. finger. Yeah, that was that was that's yeah, that was uh, embarrassing. Then he went to uh, yeah. then he went to uh, blue, and he was like, "Oh, okay. Oh, this is your max. All right, hit him three times. I'll, I'll see that. <laughs> he hit him three times, and every mm. time Goku leveled up, he leveled up. Mm -hmm. Like this nigga could look, yo. It could have ended episode one ten. Yeah. Like he could have jumped up in the air, went full whatever Jiren is, and evacuated everybody. Now look. But he's a martial artist. Look, you, you know what I mean? And you talk about Naruto fillers, right? You know, you know, like in the tournament of power it was like an hour. That mug lasted for like five months. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> It did, but it didn't have too many filler episodes. No, nah, no, nah, it was it wasn't four. like it was a filler. It's like these these fights is lasting more than you it know. Was like, here comes Universe <laughs> Six, like or Universe Four. Here comes the love per game. Like, man, get these motherfuckers off my screen. These bugs lasted forever. We're like, wait, like, okay, what can? How would <laughs> I would have said Broly, but Broly's like. I don't call him an antagonist. He was antagonist for the movie, and I think oh, well, that's, yeah, yeah. I think that's the best movie Dragon Ball ever did. We be thinking about Goku Black. <sighs> I didn't like Goku Black. Okay, only for the simple fact it was more like. So there's a god out there in another universe that said. Yo, I just want to ride Goku's dick and turned in and traveled back. Yeah, killed that. a nigga. Yeah, killed him in a mm -hmm. in a in a in a past just to become him. You know what I'm saying? Then jump to the future to go get that one. Yeah, turn him into whatever the fuck. Then just to come to the present just to fight the regular Goku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't like him. That's the thing, right? I know you. And look, and they kind of did that. They kind of did that, but better with DC in the DC comics when they did uh, uh, Dark Knight Metal. Yeah, and they had yeah. uh, uh, the Batman who laughs and and going through the dimensions and Batman Zero. Uh, every, yeah, that's you know, that, that was a little. That's, you know, that's, that's yeah. I, th I think DC did it better. And you know what though? I also think that the Dragon Ball franchise copied DC because, in my opinion, Goku Superman. But, hey, man, thank you for tuning in to another episode of You Had to Be There podcast. Yo. Remember to follow us on every streaming platform. Please subscribe to the YouTube. Please like, share, and comment. Please. We are going to be doing, you know, more episodes. And we even thinking about doing a live one once our uh, audience gets a little up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we're going to be live. We're going to be live, man. So uh, peace and love. Hold it down. I'm your boy, Anna Measy. It's your man, Bub. And we out of here. Yes, sir. Shout out.